there we were on the last day, right. and the people from Phage Therapy Centre brought me along these packets of um, oh, nice. pyobacterium, which I suppose is the Latin name, and mm -hmm. that's the same thing in Georgian. Mm -hmm. Um, and you'll see the little glass ampoules like this. Right. Yeah, let's see. Very small writing. Isn't that fine? You never see things like this in the UK, do you? No. I think it's tablet form. So, so that's the bacteriophages in there. And I think it's a, a mixture of about five different ones. The common ones like E. coli and Streptococcus and mm -hmm. Staphylococcus aureus. Right. Uh, a couple of other ones as well. Um, and I think the pio bit means that it's a mix of them. Right. right? And there's, you can just make out the expiry date down oh, there. Yeah. Oh, seven, two, four, seven, yeah. Yeah. So then, of course, it's a, it was a question of bringing them home again, safely, mm -hmm. um, and making sure that I apply them as they did in the um, phage therapy centre. So I've been cutting up little pieces of bandage there uh -huh. and then you just apply the um, liquid onto the pieces of bandage and leave it for 10 minutes and then don't eat or drink anything for the next hour. So how do you actually open these uh, things up? Well I thought you'd ask that because what I, the way I do <coughs> it is this, I think it's, I was watching um, the, the nurse uh, do this at Phage mm -hmm. Therapy Centre. She had a little tiny, um, oh, sort of, so a tiny, tiny little saw. file. Yes, yes. it's really, really small. Mm -hmm. But so I've done doing it with a nail file. Right. Um, making, making the plastic. And mm -hmm. it's worked very, very well like this, just by making a nick. It, ha it mm -hmm. doesn't work with a, the other kind of nail file. This is a metal one, obviously. Mm -hmm. And you can't necessarily even feel the mark that you've made. Oh, only just very very faintly. You know, to just feel that with your finger. Oh yeah, feel it right. often there, yeah. yeah. And then if you just put a cloth over it, just and it snaps off. Bingo. And that's it. Thank you, thank you. So I've been using about half of that each day. Well, starting to uncle. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what I've been doing. And so how do you actually put it on your teeth? Are you ready well, for another session now? Or? I've done it this morning. Oh, yeah. Is it once a day? Um, yes, once, once a day. day. Um, and I just cut a little piece of um, clean bandage mm -hmm. about, about that length just, and tuck it inside my gums. Right. And then tip my head back and drip the yeah. liquid onto it. Right. And then it's a good excuse to go and have a nice lie down for 10 minutes. The whole, the whole contents? No, I've just yeah. only needed about a half and then I've saved the other half till the next day. So one, one will do two days. Mm. And it's one a day. One, one application a day. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yes, so that's what I do. Mm. Well, very interesting. And uh, certainly. <coughs> and it's helped your gums? Oh, enormously. Yes, I can't exactly claim that it's a clinical trial, but. No, uh, but the evidence is there. You yes, and I felt, I felt it straight away. Yeah. I could feel the. Um, okay. It's like going to the hygienist. You know, you just. Mm. Think, oh, your mouth feels different. Yes. Bing afterwards, yes. yeah. You don't feel any pain, any discomfort, mm. or anything no. after, that you no. felt before. It's an unusual yeah. taste, yeah. Uh, but of course you can swallow it. Of course, yeah. yeah. Yes. So there we are.